Hey guys, my name is Berin Falls and welcome to another GTA San Andreas 100% walkthrough video. It is time guys, the last mission in the game awaits us. I'm currently standing at 99.47% game completion. After I complete this mission, I will achieve 100%. So stick around until the end, I'll show you how to easily complete the mission and also the rewards you get after you do. Let's begin. End of the line. Sweet. What's up? It's time for smoke. All right, let's roll. The Johnson brothers finna take that fat fool down. Oh yeah, I cannot wait. This fat fool needs to die. He has caused enough trouble already. Ted Penny as well. Ted Penny has also caused so much trouble. You sure he in East Los Santo? Yeah, right on the edge of Los Forest. Some old apartments and a warehouse. He as good as dead, then. I can't believe you bought that same bucket ass car, man. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I agree, but YouTube, for instance, does not agree because it always breaks its so shit. This is it, huh? Johnson boy sorting shit out. Yeah. Nervous? Yeah. Me too. Me too. Nervous? Are you serious, bro? I'm CJ. I'm a tank, okay? Speaking of tanks. Look, I know you down for this, but I gotta go in there alone. What? Smoke played me. Ten Penny played me. They played us all. Yeah, but you're right. I was a buster when my family needed me the most. Hey, I let Brian die, man. This one for him. For moms. And for you, bro. For Grove Street, baby. Yeah, for the Grove, baby. Hey. If you need me, you know I'll be. For sure. You always been there for me, man. Why did he even bother coming here? I could have just gone by myself. He's gonna stay here by himself and do nothing for a whole thing. I'll risk my life. Well, it was my choice, so it's okay. Security is tight in the crack fortress. There's only one way in, but the door is locked down. Something, something. The only pass, the only way past the reinforced entrance is to knock it down. A heavy vehicle like the SWAT tank will be able to smash down the entrance easily. This is a nice throwback at the beginning of the game. In the beginning of the game you got a bicycle. The first vehicle you drove was a bicycle. It was the BMX, this vehicle. And at the very end of the game, the first vehicle they give you is a bicycle. You don't have to take it in the beginning of the game, you also didn't have to take it. So it's a nice throwback. You guys might have not noticed things like this, but since I have completed the game so many times, I do notice things like this. This is a unique vehicle, by the way. You can park it in your garage if you wish, but there's no point, in my opinion. It's a unique vehicle, so you could, if you want. Okay, this is the meat of the mission. This is the the hardest part of the mission. So first of all, take care of this fat fool because he is gonna cause you trouble. Now, start the sliding glitch. Initiate a sliding glitch. This is a very important thing. You need to learn how to do in order to complete the mission how I'm gonna complete the mission. So if you do need this, take it. Now stop the sliding glitch and just take care of all these fools over here. All of them have to die before you proceed. Because if you start going that way, they're gonna cause you trouble. Okay, so there's a few over here. Is that it? No, there's one over there and one over here and that should be it. Right? Yeah, okay. That's it. Let's finish. Oh, no, I missed somebody. It's okay, if you miss a few, it's completely fine. Let's take care of this guy and this guy. There's also a few more guys over here. There we go. Take care of this guy. If you do need health, there's health over here. I'm not gonna take it because I don't need. And I do mean health and not armor because the armor is right in front of us. So let's initiate it again. Take care of this guy. And take the armor. Always take the armor. It's very beneficial to you. So here what you need to know is not to kill everyone. If you do try to kill everyone, you might lose even more health than you do when you just stroll around. So just take care of the guys in the immediate area, the, the immediate guys you see, and then just go. Just start walking like this. Destroy this because they are gonna destroy it if you don't, and they're gonna is gonna explode next to you and you don't want that to happen. The most important thing to note here is not to lose any of your health. The red health. 
almost all the armor you want because there's always armor refills over here. Now this is the f my favorite part of the mission. It's so mega amazing, so much mayhem, destruction, people with shotguns and whatnot. It's so awesome. Take care of the guys with the shotguns mostly, they do the most damage. Okay, time for big smoke. Well, let's begin, I cannot wait to take you down, you fat fuck. Playing video games. Hey, smoke! Hey, CJ, I was wondering when you would show up. How'd you know it was me? Knew it was my old dog, CJ. Knew you was coming and I don't give a shit. Would you give a shit if I put a bullet in your fat ass? I'm here to take care of your fat ass. Then I'm gonna take care of your friends in the police department. Where they at? Man, fuck this shit. <laughs> Man, that's some good shit. Man, you and Ten Penny. And fuck Ten Penny. And fuck his Polish lapdog. And fuck the police. Man. And fuck you. Oh, that's old shit. Look at you. You got the whole world. I ain't got no regrets, man. Smoke, you have. I made a CJ. I'm a success. I can't be touched. I don't agree. I don't give a fuck. Fuck the whole world. What happened to you, man? Man, what the fuck do you care? Uh, I guess we better do this shit then. Oh yeah, pistol against a shotgun, or should I say a minigun against a shotgun. <laughs> this is the fastest way of beating him, by the way. If you do chase him, it's gonna... Hey, smoke, what made you flip out like that, man? It will take you lots of time. Was it the drugs or what? I got caught up in the money. <coughs> the power. I don't give a shit. Oh, fuck, man. <coughs> Why you just didn't quit, man? Uh oh we was like family, homie. I had no choice. I had to do it. I just see the opportunity <coughs> of when I'm gone, everyone gonna remember my name. Big Smoke. Oh. Oh. oh my homie is dead. Oh, damn, man. Just like Ryder. Waste. Yeah, man, I agree. Ryder died for nothing. Smoke died for nothing. Carl Johnson. My man. Now this piece of shit needs I to need die. I need you to do me another favor. You kill Pulaski, now this fat fuck? <laughs> There's no stopping you. Stop calling him fat. Drop the gun. You ain't leaving here alive, man. Where's your brother at, huh? Behind you. Why you just didn't shoot me in the back? Feeling exposed, huh? Shut your dumb ass up and load the bag. Come on, let's go. I ain't got time to fuck with you. So what it's like, Ten Penny? Huh? All alone? Nobody got your back? Suck, huh? Why you think I'm alone? I got a couple of rookies outside. But I gotta open their eyes slowly, you know. Little truth here, little truth there. I see, I see. Good tactic, Ten Penis. Alright, fuck it, that's enough. Chuck it over. I got a fire truck to catch. You crazy, man. You lost. You gone. Half the city's looking for cops to kill, Carl. And I ain't about to get dragged out of a patrol car and get beat to death by some angry mob. I'm okay no, with that. No, not tonight. What you catching? A plane? Ding, 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 ding! Good answer, Carl! You know, you're gonna thank me one day for opening your fucking eyes. Oh, I almost forgot, Carl. Time to die. Uh, sweet! What? Mother... It ain't over, Carl. It ain't over. Yeah, it, it definitely isn't. Carl, you motherfucking piece of shit, gangbanging cocksucker. So, the way I see it, Ten Penny is shot two times. He ran out of bullets. He found another shotgun on the way out because he was with a different shotgun and got that. So, that's why he didn't shoot more times at me. That's how I see it. Okay, let's go. Now, the good thing about this part of the mission is that it's a lot easier. You don't have to worry too much about dying. You probably won't die here because there's a lot less enemies to worry about. On the way here, there's lots more enemies. As you can probably see, here we had like 20 plus enemies, but now we have only a few. Okay, here, make sure you stop because there's lots of guys here and you... It's better to just take them off take him down before you get down there. Okay, did I take care of everyone? I think so. Don't kill this guy, don't need to, but... Okay, 
Now take a stroll here and check if you have missed anybody. That guy you don't need to kill him, he's just taking care of the fire. Okay, that should be it, right? And yeah, that's it, okay. So after this fire, initiate the glitch again. Not with the sniper, with the minigun. Okay, there we go. The reason why I did it after the fire is because the fire stops your starting glitch. If you touch fire, it's gonna stop. So make sure not to touch it. As best as you can. Okay. And go. Again, initiate it again. Again, with the minigun I set. Okay. Come on, Kevin, I stripped, dude. There was also armor behind you. If you wanted it, I don't need it, as you can probably see. I don't need any more health at the moment. I'm completely fine on everything. Now take care of these guys, there's lots of guys, especially the guys with the shotgun. There was one guy with a shotgun, take care of him because he's trouble. There we go, take care of this fool. And there we go, we are almost completely out. This is the exit. And there's another exit. Okay, let's go. Don't shoot anybody, you don't need to kill anybody here. If you do have health, don't kill anybody. If you don't have health, you have to take your time and use the minigun. But I don't use the minigun because I do have lots of health. Okay, first part of the mission is done. Completely done. You do not have to do it ever again. Tenpenny, you motherfucking piece of shit! I ain't letting you get away with all you've done! Sweet, no! The good thing about this mission is that it has a checkpoint, so every single time after you start the mission again, for instance if you fail the mission now, if you start it again, it's gonna start from right this place. You don't have to do the shooting part ever again. Hang on, sweet. What I love about this mission is that it has a little bit of everything. Except for flying, I guess. We have lots of shooting, an amazing ch chase, an amazing chase again with a weapon. You just have almost everything. You also see lots of the Los Santos area. Just a nice throw around town. You kill lots of guys on the way. I'm a piss on your corpse, I ain't losing this fool. Oh shit! Also, don't worry about the Molotovs. The Molotovs don't do anything to you. This is a very nice chase. This is also my favorite end mission in any GTA game. It's also... Is it the longest? The, the GTA 4 last mission is also really, really long, but... Is this the longest? I haven't really timed the bottom missions, but this seems like the longest because there's so much to do. Also, your health does not matter anymore. It doesn't matter how much health you have. Because you won't lose it, you just have to worry about the car's health. Not yet, though. Later on, you have to worry about it. But now, it's just a nice throw around town. Just follow this guy. You're probably not gonna have too much trouble doing this. Because it's so mega easy, just follow him. That's all you have to do. So, Ten Penny is inside. We have to kill Ten Penny. We took care of his friend, I guess. He's not really a friend, but Big Smoke. We took care of Big Smoke. He didn't like Big Smoke, Ten Penny didn't like Big Smoke, but he worked with him. He made him do stuff. And I guess Big Smoke didn't want Ten Penny bossing him, him around. Oh man, I was a close call. I ain't let this bastard go. I think you should. Just let go, I'll catch you, and continue on. Okay, this is the most difficult part of this chase. There's gonna be lots of cars spawning and the fire truck is gonna crash into them. Just make sure not to crash yourself into any of the vehicles. Just follow him, not very closely at the start, and afterwards follow him closely. Okay, there we go. This is very difficult here. Because of stuff like this. Just make sure not to be in the way of these trucks and cars and whatnot. Okay, so go start gaining speed, go as close as you can, and there we go. Oh. Good, 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 very good. Okay, so part two of the mission is done. Probably the easiest part. Yeah, the easiest part of the mission is Take done. Time. Prepare for lots of shooting. Yeah. I took care of you. Don't bother shooting the, the 
fire truck is not gonna explode. Yeah, he said it. Sweet also said it. Don't damage the fire truck because it's not gonna do anything. Which does not make sense. Is this a special bulletproof, you know, fire truck? Because normally, if you put 20 bullets into a fire truck, it's you know, it's gonna explode. Also. What I suggest is not doing this mission with Hitman level of your Uzi Because if you do, have Hitman level is gonna reload two times I'm gonna demonstrate again, you saw it once but you're gonna see it again If you reload, you reload two times, even though you use only one weapon Shut up sweet, I'm talking I'm more important than you People have seen you talk, people have not seen me talk during this mission So shut the hell up Thing. So everyone in the world is chasing you. I don't understand why everyone hates you. Everyone hates Ted Penny, yeah, but why do you don't why do you hate me? I'm the master of this game. I'm the king of Silent Dreams. Reload, come up! See what I'm talking about? You reload two times and it's so annoying because you have to reload two times. It takes you it takes you time to reload. Even though you don't use two weapons, two Uzis. Come on, shoot him! I'm a terrible shot, by the way. I'm not very good at this, but with a controller, this would be a nightmare, I guess. See, he reloaded two times again. Okay, he's down. Don't think it's over, this is not it. This is just a smoke cutscene. I don't know why they interrupted your. You know, shooting, but whatever. Oh, I took him out. So good. Oh, again. Awesome. You don't need to take care of these guys, but I just decided to shoot him. Why not? Let's take care of this guy. The police vehicle. Now, this part of the mission is also not that difficult. I have never actually failed this mission. Even my first time doing it, I didn't fail. Well, the first part I did fail, yeah. The first time I played, I failed failed the first part of the mission, but not the second or the third. Would you people stop speaking? <laughs> you just see that awesome, awesome flip. Okay, explode, come on, CJ, stop reloading two times. You don't have to woozies, what woozies? I call woozies because I love woozy and woozy sounds like woozy, so yeah, I say woozy sometimes, even though it's not correct. Okay, we're getting near the end of the mission only a little bit more he has to return to Grove Street well not return to Grove Street but close to Grove Street and with this car we put an end to the mission you don't have to do anything else now we just have to watch he's losing control we got the motherfucker and there we go mission is over and only cutscenes are left. This is so satisfying. You have no idea how satisfied I am. Come on, assholes! I'll take you all! You're mine! Mine! I run this town! <coughs> hey! Over here! Hey! Officer Dow, come on! Hey! <coughs> Assholes! You never understood what I did! Fifty of me, and this town would be okay! I took the trash out. I did. <laughs> and I do it all again. <laughs> Don't. Don't do it, man. He's gone. I just want to be sure it's over, man. That's all. It's cool. Don't need to put a bullet in him. He killed himself in a traffic accident. No one to blame. Let's roll. I mean, far out, man. You know, I mean, you beat the system. 
I tried for 30 years to cross over, but you managed it, man. I mean, man, you're an icon, man. Oh, thanks, man. I'm just glad it's finally over. What's up with Smoke? You know what's up with Smoke. He always saw things a little different than us. Smoke? Smoke was always on his own, always out for self. Yeah, that fuck Smoke. The surest path to hell, man. Well, without our 15 microdots and an ounce of mescaline, let's go get something to eat. Sounds good to me. Touchy, touchy. See you around, officer. This has got to be the most satisfying ending to a game I have ever seen. This is a perfect ending to a perfect game. Hey, now that everything is cool, we gotta stay on top of our game. Keep everything in check, but subtle. We got problems in Venturas, problems in San Fierro, shit's never ending. For sure. I mean, the family's back on their feet, but we gotta keep shit tight. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of people has got their eyes on it. Whoa, 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 I come in peace with Mr. Dog here, who has an announcement. My, I mean our, first gold record! Yes! Oh, yes! 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 Baby. Yes! Yes! No, I'm talking about. Um, yeah, they heard about I it. I decided to get breast implants. Oh, Shut up, you fucking loco, is it? Oh, typical Micker. Joke on. Anyway, what's next? We should hit the casinos, roll some dice with Woozy. Nah, we gotta take care of shit here first. We going on tour, fam! Has anyone got a tissue? My nose <laughs> is just, it yeah. won't stop running. Is that, anybody? Yeah, I have. Over there. Uh, I'll pass. Carl, where are you off to now? Finna hit the block. See what's happening. And with that, we completed GTA San Andreas' main story missions and achieved 100%. Guys, I'm getting goosebumps. Seriously, I'm not joking. The ultimate goal for this walkthrough has been achieved. There are still some side missions available to us, but they are not required for 100%. Now, like I did with my Vice City walkthrough, I'll show you some stunts I did back in the day. If you don't know, I used to be a very active stunter in the stunting community in 2008 and 2009 and produced many GTA stunting videos. While the credits roll, I'll include some of the stunts I did. That way we can honor all these great people who have put all the work into making this game the best game of all time. Stick around until the end because I still need to show you the rewards you get after 100% completion. I'll be right back.
I hope you enjoyed that guys, it was a little snippet of my history that I felt like sharing. After you complete the last mission you get this phone call. Hey, what's up? I shouldn't eat that <sighs> Hello? Yes, Claude! Faster, harder, deeper! Oh, yes! Yes, yes! Catalina! You're sick! Get help! And you, Kyle, you are jealous! And that was the last phone call in the game. After completing the game at 100%, you get many rewards. The first one being 1 million bucks. The other reward is a rhino tank under that bridge. The third reward is a Hydra on top of Sweet's house. Also, all vehicle CJ drives will have double health. And finally, you get infinite ammo on all your weapons. And that's it for the rewards. Even though I achieved 100%, however, this is not the end of the walkthrough. I'll do one extra video showcasing all the side missions not required for 100%. So expect a very long video next time. Thank you so much for watching.